I work at Stonewall, the um, well, Europe's largest LGBT equality charity. Um, and Pride season is, as you can expect, uh, one of our busiest um, and most important times of the year, you could say. For me, Pride in London is so important because it marks a kind of milestone that I've had in my life. Um, ever since I first came out, the first Pride um, in London that I went to, I was really nervous and scared and I didn't know anybody, so I turned up by myself and was just really overwhelmed. And, and since then, I kind of made a, an active effort to to involve myself more in the community and make LGBT friends. Um, so every year since I've, I've seen Pride in London as a kind of a time to reflect on how far I've come on my personal journey to kind of accepting myself as, as, a, as an LGBT person. Pride for me as a performer, it's an absolute dream because it's so rare as an actor, as a singer who isn't like pop band singer, you're never going to play to those sorts of crowds. It's 20 plus thousand people all in Trafalgar Square. I think Pride in London is such a big occasion because of the fact it's London, it's the capital, everybody wants to come up for it or come down for it. And it is just that celebration of everybody. It isn't um, just about the gay scene, it's about LGBTIQ, however you want to identify people, all of them celebrating the lives that they live. And I just I love doing drag because I like playing with gender and playing with expectation. Um, I think people always have an expectation of what you're going to do as a performer if you're in drag and it's so much fun just to play with that and against that and sort of poke fun at... It's, it is, it is poking fun, it's having a parody and a pastiche of society and the community. I so I grew up in North London, uh, went to school in Tottenham and Harringay and Hornsey. Uh, I'm a writer, um, write short films and blogs and such. I think my primary passion is um, LGBT film and cutie pop film or queer trans intersectional people of colour film. And my first Pride was in 2009. Yeah, and I was just, I was just, yeah, my first time sort of being around other queer people, especially queer young people, gay people. And uh, I just felt important just because it was a place for everybody to go and sort of, it just felt mine as well. It felt like it was for me and sort of people made it for me and it was for me to meet people, for me to feel safe and uh, explore or be around, yeah, so sort of be sort of within my community. I've been a London bus driver for four years now. Pride, I've got some fun memories. I think um, last year being my first Pride, there was a quite a funny uh, scenario involving Martin, the, the guy uh, that created the uh, Ride with Pride uh, bus. Um, we reached the end of the route on the parade at uh, Whitehall and uh, it sort of filtered out into Whitehall. And uh, unbeknown to me, Martin had jumped off off the bus, you know, and uh, I carried on. And uh, but Martin was running after the bus and I didn't know. And he's running after his own bus and I always look back with a sort of funny memory of Martin running along and people saying stop. And I was like, what? I, I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> so yeah, that was quite funny. Um, but yeah, obviously it's just a great fun event where people can be themselves and um, they don't have to worry about prejudice or anything. It's, you know, it's, it's that opportunity to uh, be confident in yourself.